All righty. So if you guys haven't checked out the old Betsy video, I definitely recommend checking that out before you watch this video, because not only is the old Betsy probably going to be a little bit better than the spyglass. I know I did mention it in the old Betsy video, which if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I don't know what you're doing here still. Um, but I did mention that the spyglass may be a little bit better due to the fact that the uh, range is like double it. As you can see right under me, it's like right here, 25,000. It's literally about a double. I think on the old Betsy, it's about like 10,200. Um, but yeah, uh, spyglass is definitely going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little more, uh, long range and, you know, from a distance, um, you know, you, you're going to be doing a, a little bit more damage, but, um, 150,000 damage per shot without any crit or anything like that is definitely insane. Now with these weapons, you definitely had, uh, you definitely have the double headshot damage, uh, as in the, uh, old Betsy, we have the same thing, got a critical rating reload and the double headshot damage with fire since it's the nature storm. But yeah. Um, those are the perks and of course the six perks is the same too. It's a 0.5 tiles for 30% weapon damage Um, yeah, and the loadout surprisingly enough. It's gonna be the same now old Betsy Like I said old Betsy and spyglass are pretty much the same just one's a little bit more distance Um, so the loadout and everything is gonna be the same Um, the reason why we're running rabbit raider jonesy is because basically the sniper critical damage is increased by 225% Which yes, technically you would want to crit build on this, uh snipers that you're using but with that with that, uh, uh crit rating yeah critical rating um we should be fine we should be fine all right uh, we were hitting around like a million damage on the uh the uh, old betsy so i should be good on uh with that rabbit raider jones and lead and then of course we're going to be running totally rocking out with subway for his battle beat same thing along with quick scope increasing that sniper damage by 17 percent locked and reloaded after reloading uh we're going to be doing a little bit more damage for that five seconds and then saurian might of course for you know every one second we get three percent of the current health to damage of the next range weapon hit which it's pretty good. We were hitting around like a million damage. I think average around 500, 700,000 with the old Betsy. So yeah, let's uh, test it out with the uh, Spyglass and see how it is. We're going to be running an RTD. It's actually the same one that we ran in uh, with the uh, the old Betsy. So nothing is literally changed. Everything's the same, just different weapon. We're going to see which one's a little bit better, which one's a little bit more ideal for 160s. Otherwise, let's just jump right into the mission. All righty. So Ty, once again, he, he he's always the, the, the smasher finder for me. But uh, I don't know. I was testing it out. I was hitting about a, like 700,000. So let's just see. Double headshot damage. Bam. Was that 300,000 to the head? 600,000. Now, the hitbox on this is slightly different. Um, it is definitely a little bit weirder uh, to run because, you know, 700,000 right there. Um, it's a little bit weirder because the hitbox is a little bit bigger. So, like, if I shoot it, like, you know, kind of right in their face, it does hit them. Let me get a little bit closer. Just hit them. So, it is kind of like the old Betsy. You can be very close to them and that hitbox is, like, a little bit bigger um, the way that it seems. Um, however, um, distance-wise, like, it de definitely does have that distance. Like... And over there like okay well that thing just got decimated it definitely has that distance but i don't know if distance is really good whenever it comes to you know running loadouts or running 160s because you're trying to kill those enemies before they get to the objective now you can kill them while they spawn but you know like the one shot doesn't really help like now if this had three bullets maybe running like uh like uh i forget his name but running the, the extended magazine in support with uh, to give you that uh increase so i think it would change it to three bullets instead of one um maybe it would be good now, I don't know if it works on snipers because I know it doesn't work on the Jack's Revenge, but I don't know. It's slightly different. I mean, there's a bunch of different things that could work out, but I don't know. Let's get into the actual RTD defense and see how it is. We're going to give it to the defenders too. Maybe the defenders could put some work in with it, but uh, yeah, let's just get right into the actual defense. All righty. So the mission has started. Now I'm crafting some weapons for my defenders because I want to give some defenders my, uh, not the old Betsy, but the Spyglass because I do want to see if they'll be doing a little bit better with it. Uh, I didn't really notice them doing a lot of damage with the old Betsy due to the fact that the range is a little, a little, a little shorter than normal. Um, but with the uh, Spyglass, I think they should be able to do more. Is that a, is that boom base? Oh no, that's a ear splitter. Um, so let me craft another one and give some. Actually, I guess I could just give. I don't need two in my inventory. And let me just give him this one right here, and then bam. Uh, and then take that out of my inventory so I can actually use it. So, yeah. So, defenders should be able to do a little bit more since they, uh, have an increased range with it. But, uh, when this thing crits a million damage, I've noticed that so far the spyglass actually has a, a little bit more, uh, higher damage if I do hit the head. Um, a little bit higher damage. Um, like, a, it, it hits around 500,000, uh, around 800,000. Uh, unlike the, um, unlike the old Betsy where it would sometimes just only hit for like 20,000. 
hundred thousand. This one, like the minimum I see is maybe five hundred thousand. Maybe if I'm unlucky, a hundred thousand. But it still does that decent amount of damage. I mean, like two, three shots to a miss monster and the thing's dead. And even up close, I could just get close to it and bam. Okay, well that one, one hundred eighty-seven thousand. But bam, two hundred thousand. Like, look at that. I don't even have to aim at it, and it's doing a decent amount of damage. From a distance, 600,000 damage, a million damage, and that's even without a war cry or even subwafers. Let me eat a, uh, a subwafer real quick, and just 600,000. No, no, no. Is it gonna... No? Yo, Smasher, don't, don't go. Don't, don't be leaving me now. Don't, don't be leaving me now. Let me kill some of these, uh, some of these lobbers. Yeah, just one shot to the lobbers, and they're gone. Now, the thing about single target wep uh, weapons is that they're only good for killing single targets like mist monsters or killing a, an enemy instantly. Like, you know, I can kill that enemy instantly, but you can't kill groups of enemies. So like these four husks right here, I only could kill one of them at a time and it would take me around like six, seven seconds to kill all of them. But there is kind of a workaround with this. Technically with the six perk, it does, if they grouped up, it does do a decent amount of damage to that other husk. So it's about half health. So technically every two shots, you should be able to kill three husks as long as they're grouped together pretty close in the half tile radius. Now it's not really a crazy amount, but it's definitely good. And there's also another thing. This weapon is usually ran with something else. So like I would use this weapon only if I see a smasher, a mist monster or mini boss, anything like that. Since it's high damage, I would probably be running a weapon that's a little bit more suitable for a 160, such as like the Blastertron since this one. You know, like it does have that six perk uh, that explodes uh, or, you know, sends out those little, you know, explosions. I think I forgot what they're called, but I'd be running like both of these in the same loadout since, you know, I'm running Rabbit Raider Jones in the lead. I'm going to be doing a lot of damage since this is a crit build and, you know, whatnot. But, you know, with the, with these weapons, they either you can give it to the defenders, you can run it with a weapon that, you know, is a little bit better. And then you only use it whenever you're trying to kill a smasher, flinger. I'm um, like this, this right here. Can I, can I, can I? Oh, ah, I hit it once. I hit it once. That's all that matters. I hit it once. That was pretty cool. But yeah, like with fingers right here, like, you, you know, you try to find the fingers. You could just use this weapon right here. Bam, like watch. Let me just hit it in the head. I missed it. Okay, can this bush move? This bush is annoying me. I can't see. Um, But yeah, you would hit like mist monsters and bigger target bosses since it's single target damage and it has that high, high, um, high damage per shot, you know, um, high DPS, I guess. Um. But yeah, like with, you know, you would instead, you know, for like, you know, group enemies, you'd use a weapon that is a little bit more suitable for group enemies. Um, but, you know, uh, Spyglass, not too bad. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, it's the same thing as Old Betsy. It is the equivalent, if not the same thing, just a little bit more distant. And these, uh, and these uh, defenders are actually putting a lot of work in because I think they one shot, one shot the enemies. And I see. Okay, well, that was about, about, about half. Okay, okay. I mean, I'll finish that enemy off, but I want to see. Yeah, see one shot right there. One shot. Yeah, one shot. They're pretty much one shot in enemies. It's kind of the same thing with the obliterator. You can craft some of these, give it to the um if you don't have the obliterator since it's a military weapon. You could just open some pyrolamas, give it a spyglass, give it a uh old Betsy, and it would still do a decent amount of damage. Now, you know, if you're running for a, a 160 and you're trying to have fun, I definitely recommend trying this loadout. Uh it loadout out. That's weird. Weird sentence out 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 yeah but honestly not bad i i mean like once you have a good defense set up and you're just vibing hanging out you know shooting enemies when you want you know like just you know shooting those mist monsters like it's fun i mean someone's using the third rail holy third rail is actually a really great weapon and i actually kind of want to redo that video because the blank shots are a little bit better i think i might wait until it's actually permafix because it's still glitchy out or glitched out but you know i'll wait for that uh honestly let me let me see mini boss okay mini boss right here let me uh smoke screen ah come on i'm gonna war cry though and just see how much damage i can do with this and just see it's vampiric too and smoke screen honestly what is that a million damage two hundred thousand. okay i'm dead owie someone revive me revive me please there we go okay yeah it is smoke screen which kind of sucks but i mean hey you know for too much thousand damage per shot on a smoke screen mini boss. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, for anyone that's screaming at me, hey, Maddie, you're not supposed to be using that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's a smoke screen. You're supposed to be using a melee weapon. That's a sad part about getting a smoke screen mini boss. You can't test out the weapons that you're using. So, yeah. Uh, however, I think the next uh, next weapon that we're going to be doing is probably the Walloper. So, I mean, if we get a smoke screen mini boss again, 
Hey, maybe uh, that uh, Walloper might be doing a little bit more damage. <laughs> we'll see. The Walloper's not really known for damage. But uh, yeah, honestly, try out the the uh, the Spyglass. It's definitely definitely worth a shot and just, def just definitely, you know, just, you know, use it whenever you want to. I mean, like I said, use it when you can. Use it whenever you feel like doing a decent amount of damage to a Smasher or just want to see an enemy just die instantly. Like, look at this nurse. Just dead instantly. <laughs> Funny. Or even with the Smasher. I mean, like, you know, that one didn't a lot of damage, but I got to hit it in the head first. And these, 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 you know, calm down. You know, flingers, lobbers, whatever you want to do, you know. Yeah. Leave me alone here. Leave me, leave, leave me alone. If I can hit this in the head, though, I want to see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 600,000 damage. Like, not too bad. At 600,000, yeah. I think this one's a little bit more, um... A little bit more consistent whenever hitting uh 600,000 around like 500 between 800,000. Um, a little less rare to see that million damage, but if you are running that uh sub wipers and if your battle beat is activated, which mine is, you'll probably see that million damage. But honestly, not too bad. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think and you know how you you know perceive. Not a lot of people like using snipers since of since they're mostly single target damage. But when you run Rabbit Raider Tone Team lead and you get that like sniper uh sniper uh chance increase to 225% and a sniper build with a crit crit build on a sniper, it just it's insane. Like your brain goes crazy. So I definitely recommend checking out that Rabbit Raider Jonesy uh video if you guys haven't already, because that's definitely a good one. Uh otherwise, uh yeah, try this load out. Let me know what you think. And uh I think that's pretty much it. We got half a half a half a minute left, so I just finished this mission up and uh yeah try it out i i know i know these aren't like the most crazy fun broken loadouts but you know the, you know the point of these videos are just to try to have fun try to try a different loadout out see if the weapon is usable fun you know whatnot you know if you'd enjoy it in a 160 otherwise thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video let me know what you think down in the comments if you have any suggestions or anything otherwise you guys have an amazing day i will see you guys in the next one